<laughs> Dr. Curtis, can I borrow you for something? You need a surgical consult? Regular exam. It's pediatrics. The on-call pediatrician is swamped today. Good news is the boy's vomiting seems to have stopped. Fantastic. Hi, Glenn. I am Dr. Curtis. I hear you've been throwing up at the Royal Ontario Museum this morning. How long have you been feeling sick, buddy? Okay. Uh, it says here you refuse to call your parents. Is there a reason for that? My mom's in New York for meetings. She's gone a lot. Got it. What about Dad? Okay. Uh, why don't you lie down for me? Is that her? Did you eat anything at the museum? No? You are just, uh, hanging out by the back cave and <laughs> started vomiting? The fossils. I like the fossils, not the bats. Okay. Do you remember about what time you started feeling sick? Listen, you gotta give me something, all right? Oh! <laughs> Nurse! So I figure, you know, maybe it's the flu or like food poisoning, but Glenn's anemic and his BP is high. Maybe it's a dietary issue or a nutritional deficiency. No, 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 I'm just trying to track down his mom. Has he told you anything helpful? He's not exactly a big talker. Then get him to open up. Of course. <sighs> okay, Glenn, I'm gonna need some answers, buddy. Glenn? The blood tests are telling me that you aren't getting enough iron, okay? Does your mom cook vegetarian? No. Are you eating enough red meat at home? Yes. Does your head hurt? Is there anything else that is off or weird? I'm weird, okay? <laughs> I don't think you're weird. Do you sometimes have a hard time hearing? How's your concentration? Okay, you're gonna have to show me your teeth. Come on. Like this. Mm, there we go. Okay, this is really important, all right? Do you live in an old house? The paint on the wall, is it peeling or anything like that? All right, so we finally got a hold of your mother. She's gonna take an early flight back. Says she has no idea what could be causing this. But if you do, you should tell me. You won't get in trouble. Okay, what if I tell you there's a 20 in it for you? Wait, you, you bribed him? I tried, it didn't work. So you're saying he was 13? Collation therapy is not going to be easy for, for a kid his age, but given how extensive his lead poisoning is, he may need it. Okay, so then why are you calling me? Because he won't talk to me. You're, you, you called me to ask how to talk to your patient. Well, I mean, normally I deal with adults, okay? I really need help. Well, look, you have to find a way to make it seem like you're not trying. You know, they usually want to talk. They just... Need to do it on your own terms. Glenn, how's it going? So, uh, speaking of weird, the kids thought I was weird too. Yeah, I know, right? I was like a foot taller than everyone else, which I hated, and I didn't like talking to people. Those things at home weren't great. I felt pretty alone, you know? You sure talk a lot now. Okay, all right. So look, as you get older, the thing you realize is that, you know, the weird kids grow up to be the cool kids. Wanna see something awesome? Ready? You said you like fossils, right? Huh? Cool, right? I mean, he's not real, but he's to scale. We use it for teaching. Residents call him Maurice. Say hi. Shake his hand.
Have you been eating these? I like the way they taste. But what are they? Fishing weights. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about a month. I got them from my grandfather's tackle box. He used to take me fishing before he died. We used to talk about stuff. But you miss him, huh? I feel alone, too. No, you're not alone. But, Glenn, how many of these have you eaten? A lot. I tried to stop, but I can't. I didn't know they were made of lead. It's okay. It's cool. I can help you with this. So. Can I stay here a bit longer? Definitely. Hey, just chill with Maurice.